Hey, welcome back into today's video. That's right, Greg. It looks like somebody has sent me a YouTuber to explore. Now, they sent me an email. Let's check that out. They said, I came across this video today, and even before watching it, the thumbnail made my heart jump into my throat. Screenshot of thumbnail is attached. Let's check it out. Okay. Looks like social repose with a gun in his mouth. I can see why this is triggering. They go on to say, this guy has millions of subs, has a huge audience, and is being completely reckless. Stupid by making this vid with this thumbnail. Mental health is no joke. According to WHO, World Health Organization, one person commits suicide every 40 seconds, 3,000 people a day, one millionaire, 22 veterans commit suicide daily. Even though mental health is being talked about more openly, there is still a stigma surrounding it. And for him to have as big of a reach as he does, audience-wise, I feel like he's being extremely careless in his approach. I personally do not know who this is, so let's go check that out. Social Repose is an emo goth YouTube musician with almost 1 million subscribers. He has been mentioned in Onision threads for an ongoing feud. Dated Ayala, the best friend of Onision failed Polamori girlfriend Billy, and cheated on her repeatedly accusing Onision to go on plenty of spurge out rants about how monstrous characters are to get on his good side, okay. When Richie started dating YouTuber Jacqueline Glenn, Onision warned her multiple times she'd be cheated on as well and recently come, I guess he did cheat on her. Now this is a LOL cow thread that I'll put in the description below because this is not a the kind of information this video is about. So I want to look more into the thumbnail. Now I'm not even going to click into this guy's YouTube channel. It's the thumbnail. Now, the reason that this thumbnail is so triggering, I, I myself was like, oh, whoa, wait a second. Um, from what I see, it, he's a, he does music. Seems like he's pretty stressed out and sad a lot just from looking. He, I mean, he's, he's an emo goth uh, branded. But if you're, if you're already branded that way and then it's of course your audience is going to be an audience that feels similar right so they're going to be uh reaching out to you as a a staple for the community and if you're posting thumbnails with your gun in your mouth and it says responding to really effing dumb comments this does make me want to check out this video. Hate comments. I know I've done a lot of response videos to hate comments over the years. I have done songs relating to hate comments. And I, if you are a social media influencer or somebody that has any kind of following or even gets hate because you have enough clout for that, uh, to for people to just mindlessly not like you, you shouldn't respond to it because if you do, you give them validation and you, you don't want to do that because they're dumb. Um, he seems like a very charismatic person. Uh, I don't like how, that's right, Greg. I don't like how he, he says that responding to people gives them validation, goes on to call them dumb and then goes forward with, uh, responding to those things. That doesn't make much sense, sense to me, but the main thing that we're looking at, of course, is this thumbnail. Now, I don't know, like I said, I don't know much about this guy at all, or if if this is a trend in his content, I have no idea. As far as I can see, thumbnail-wise, it's only the one with the gun. Now, you guys probably know a lot more about this, so if you know anything more, go ahead and put... Uh, that in the comment section below. So I want to look at this right here. Onset of mental illness first signs and symptoms in young adults. You may think that once you're out of high school, you're finished growing up physically and you're probably as tall as you'll ever get. And from this point forward, you remain the same overall size much of your adult life. But mentally, however, as a young adult, you're still not fully grown. 
Young adults ages 18 to 29 are still experiencing cognitive development, and this is one of the reasons why mental illness can present itself at this time. And mental illness, depression in use has risen so much in the last couple of years. And I have so many of you coming to me in, in DMs telling me uh, that you feel this way or that. And I can identify with you on that as I do myself suffer with some of these things. Brain development for young adults. Most people are familiar with the developmental stage of adolescence, the independence of relying more on peers than parents for the first time. The angst of finding one's own identity while belonging to a social group and the inhibitions of poor decision making are legendary parts of the teen years. And this is another thing that why I don't think that thumbnails like Social Repose has made for his video are good because it's his fan base is primarily this age group. And if they're if they're already depressed, which is probably likely since the youth statistics, which we'll get into that in just a second, have risen so much for suicide in the past years. What most people don't realize, however, is that this phase of brain development does not stop at age 18. The part of the brain that controls impulses and plans and organization's behavior to reach the goal will continue to develop in mid-20s. For most people at age 18, this growth process is only half over. The brains of adolescents have heightened reward systems that also remain active several years before their 18th birthday. This increased sensitivity is what drives adolescents to be highly emotional and incredibly sensitive to peer pressure. Throughout their mid-20s, they continue to seek out new potentially pleasurable experiences without regard for risk. And this is what can, we can see in the, the Blue Whale Challenge and the Momo Challenge that I've talked about on this channel. Um, that people have targeted things that went viral. Um, targeting this st statistic, targeting this age group, and easily wrapped them in and taken many lives off of this. And to have a YouTuber come through with thumbnails like this, it is very alarming. Now this is uh, the trends from about 1999 to uh, 2015 of suicide rates. It's, it's climbing steadily, and the, the way you read these statistics are uh, number of suicides per 1,000 youths ages 15 to 24. In 2013-2015, there were 7.9 suicides per 1,000 California youths ages 15 to 24. The data sources are from the California Department of Public Health uh, Death Statistical Master Files. Why is this topic important? Youth suicides and self-inflicted injury are serious social public health concerns. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among young people from ages 15 to 24 in the U.S. A nationwide survey in 2015 found that more than one in six high school students reported seriously considering suicide in the previous year, and more than one in 12 reported attempting. In addition, approximately 157,000 youths from 10 to 24 are treated for self-inflicted injuries in emergency rooms every year. I'm going to put this also in the description below. The point is, and what I wanted to make this video for, is to got, kind of give an eye opener uh, to the social repose. Because uh, he might not know that he is doing these things. Like I said, I don't know the guy. I've not looked into the guy or anything like that. More just kind of uh, talking about the aesthetic and overall what I see at first experience. So if you guys do know more, like I said, put it in the comments below. Um, but it is a serious thing. And I want to know if you guys think that this YouTuber is kind of pushing it a little too far. As interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and put your creative and your interesting response in the comment box. Look. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, when I first saw the thumbnail, I was like, whoa, wait a second. I, it, I guess because I'm a really, really empathetic person, I, I imagined myself in that situation, and that's really difficult because I've suffered with depression for a long time. And uh, when I was going through the videos, it does look like this guy kind of uh, suffers some mental health issues as well, so he should know, I think, th how sensitive this kind of stuff is. But I know that you're repping, if you're not repping, you're great. And how do you become a member of the Red Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe for notifications, turn on, be in the comment section every single video, because I'm gonna be there. Greg, 
the cat is going to be there and the rest of the rep squad community as well and i expect to see you there too because this channel loves you i need some coffee greg